When Fannie Mae signed their long-term lease in 2015, it was the largest private office space lease in the district. But since then, the headquarters has been mired in cost overruns for renovations. And then the pandemic, which forced many workers to begin working remotely. Now, Fannie Mae has told the property owner it is moving out early. BizNow and the Washington Business Journal were first to report the mortgage giant will maintain a headquarters in the D.C. area, but vacate the downtown space by June of 2029. The lease was set to run through 2033. It is unclear where Fannie Mae will relocate. In a statement to News 4, D.C.'s deputy mayor for economic development wrote, Fannie Mae, like many federally affiliated organizations, are leaning into telework. As they continue to occupy their lease through 2029, we will work with them to support a long-term D.C. presence for their headquarters. Today, we asked Mayor Bowser if her administration has been in touch with Fannie Mae officials about staying in D.C. I can't really say uh, anything about, um, about that other than they haven't really been in that building. Um, I think they've been primarily teleworking. On its website, Fannie Mae lists hybrid work options as part of its work-life balance. In addition to its downtown headquarters, Fannie Mae has offices in the Reston Town Center. In a statement, a spokesperson for Fannie Mae tells News 4, per our charter, we will continue to maintain a presence in the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. We have approximately 2,300 employees who are assigned to Midtown Center. However, Fannie Mae operates in a flexible model. Most of our employees choose where they do their day-to-day -day work and are only expected to work on site or in person based on business needs and team priorities. This news comes as the Bowser administration grapples with the reality of the new work-from-home culture, resulting in more and more empty office space. At the same time, the Capitals and the Wizards are threatening to also leave downtown. In the district, Mark Seagraves, News 4. A spokesperson tells News 4 that the plan for Fannie Mae is to keep their headquarters in the District of Columbia. Mm.